So Group I has um, Scotland versus Belgium. You know that the fear of um, Eden Hazard is the beginning of wisdom. And uh, unfortunately for Belgium, Eden Hazard has pulled out of this encounter. But then um, the experts are here. They will let us know um, the options that they have, talking about the markets to pick from. I, I do not know about these games. They are the experts. So when you listen, if you listen to me, you might just fall into the, the canal. But if you listen to them, I'm sure you get to win lots of money. So I'll hand it over to Aziz to deal with. Uh, certainly, when you look at uh, the game between Scotland and uh, uh, Belgium, of course, just like you really said, there will be no hazards. Mm. Talking about uh, Eden and Scotland, hazard, yeah. uh, mm. both of them will be missing in action uh, when Belgium travel to to Hampden Park to play against Scotland. Mm. Scotland playing at home, they always uh, give the teams a run for their money, especially when they are playing at their backyard. But then you look at uh, uh, Belgium; those goals seem to be very easy for them to score. Mm. They always like scoring goals, and uh, I expect that run to continue against us. Uh, Scotland in Amden Park. Then uh, you, you, you talked about the fact that uh, there will be no hazard and uh, uh, the two hazards. The two hazards, yeah. about, uh, the Togan hazard and Eden hazard. But then Portugal can sc uh, talking about Belgium can score goals without these two. Mm -hmm. There's Romelu Lukaku exactly. uh, scoring goals, regular abandon. There's Exe Wiesel, uh, there too. There's uh, Carrasco, there's uh, Diver Corrigi, there's, there's Mertens and a host of others that can score goals uh, for, for Belgium. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Scotland, if you look at the two games they have played against Cyprus and Estonia, they, they won those games by scoring two goals mm -hmm. away from home against Estonia and beating uh, Cyprus 2-1 in Glasgow. So against uh, Belgium, they should uh, get a goal against uh, Belgium and that is why we believe that uh, this, uh, this is a game that will uh, see good. Then if, you, if I want to go down memory lane also, uh, the last time uh, Belgium actually failed to score in a game was about uh, 20 months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, that was against uh, the Italians in a friendly game. In between, they've, uh, they've never failed to score in a particular game and more, uh, 15 of their last 18 games have seen over 2.5 goals. Mm. They've caught two goals uh, on their own, at least two goals in 15 of their last 18 games. So we believe that uh, Belgium playing against anything, uh, especially playing against uh, Scotland, they should be able to get uh, a minimum of two goals in that game. Mm, exactly. And talking about the odds that they have selected, uh, you get to see it uh, on your screen. For Belgium, total away team to score two goals in that encounter goes for 1.75 odds and a way to win either house. That is, um, I think that's about the surest odds. Um, no, he's saying that Belgium would win either the first half or the second half, and that goes for 1.30 odds. I've seen a couple of guys place huge money on this um, a way to win either teams to win either half, and they get to cash out uh, real big.